Hey guys, you're watching Doyle's Curls, and today I'm going to tell you guys about my Accutane journey. Okay, so Accutane is actually a name that's not really used anymore in the medical field. Instead, it's called Isotrotinoin, Isot Isotrotinoin, but it is a vitamin A derivative that is meant to cure mild to severe acne. So it can only be prescribed by a doctor or like a dermatologist, and that's what I went in for. It's usually used as like a last resort, so after a couple of months of being on like a prescribed cream or something, or if you just go in and you have like <laughs> a tomato face that nothing else has worked, that's when you would use Accutane. So I actually went to the dermatologist for about two months, two or three months before I started Accutane. And what he first put me on was a prescribed face wash, a prescribed spot treatment, and some other type of antibiotic pills. I finished about two or three of these little containers and this was Minocycline and it didn't exactly do much for my Accutane. I had known other people that had went on Accutane before me and they told me that it was like a really nice way to just get over with acne. It's like a complete cure for it usually. Most of the time it just doesn't come back and I was in for that dude. I wanted that. So my doctor first said, oh, I would try birth control and Accutane at the same time. And then I was like, uh, birth control kind of sounds a little gross. Just because of the symptoms that he was telling me with all the menstrual and just mood swings, moodiness, and the fact that I would have to be taking it for up to five years for it to actually get rid of my acne and Accutane on the other hand would take about six months. So we hopped on board for both of them but then a couple days after we decided to hop off of the birth control boat. I never, I never even took it in the first place. So Accutane. If you are a woman then they're really gonna be gung-ho on no sex. <laughs> You cannot get pregnant while on this pill. It will make serious birth defects for your baby. And like, they are they are so strict on making sure that you are not doodling around with other people, you know? Putting the fondue stick inside of the fondue, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and so, yeah, none of that. You either have to take two forms of birth control, so like use condoms and birth control, or just take a vow of abstinence where you just say, I'm not gonna do it at all, don't worry about me. And then also, I'm not sure if it's for males, but I know that females, we have this eye pledge thingy where every single month you have to log on to the account, take a little quiz about pregnancy and all that stuff. And then after you take that, you can get the pills once the dermatology, once your dermatologist office has also done their side on the computer. Every single time you go in for an appointment, you have to take a pregnancy test beforehand. It's just mandatory. And I am I was totally fine with all these things. It wasn't too bad. The one thing that I was not aware of is that there is a blood test about halfway through. And for most people, that's probably not a problem. But I have the biggest fear of needles. So I was like, no, never mind. I don't want Accutane anymore. But I took it. It was not bad at all. I just have an irrational fear. But yeah, I only had one of those and it wasn't bad. They just had to check the oil levels, I think. They just had to check the oil levels, you know, in my body and make sure that everything was okie dokie. So my acne, <laughs> so my acne really started about sophomore year of high school. Maybe like the middle of it. So that was like 20, 2018, I guess. So it's been about two years and it started off really small. Let me scooch over so that I can show before pics. It started off really small and I was like, oh crap, I have acne. And I think the main thing was that I was going on Pinterest for answers on how to get rid of acne. No, mm -mm, no. So after using lemon juice and oils all over my face and anything that you should not put on your face, my acne kept on getting worse. And it got to the point where my face just hurt all the time and I was very self-conscious about my acne. I feel like it's pretty normal for, pe for people. But one of my main passions was hair 
and skin, which it still is. And with my skin looking so bad, I just, I just had such a low self-esteem. It was really hard because I would keep on getting new products. I would use African black soap. I would use like anything. I would look up all these ways, how to get rid of acne in three days, how to get rid of acne in two weeks. And I would take all their advice. I put ice on it. You know, I did everything I could until I thought, I'm like, oh, the only way to fix this is go to an esthetician, have them do facials every week, spend like 200 bucks a month at least. And and where was I going with this? It was really hard waking up every single morning and not seeing any improvement after I told myself the night before that this spot treatment is gonna work or this face wash is gonna work. And even in like weeks, they never really worked. My acne sometimes got a little better, but then once, you know, like that time of the month hit again or I like used a new product, which I introduced so many products into my skincare routine, which was one of the biggest mistakes that I've made. It was a mistake. I used oil on my face every single night instead of a moisturizer. Ugh, that just makes me cringe so bad. I used super stripping face washes with sulfates in them. I just, I did everything that my skin should not handle. I had to be aware of the side effects of Accutane. None of them have really been that bad for me. I know that a lot of people have gotten super, super dry and I've gotten dry, of course. Like I've never been this dry. My lips are always flaky and I have no matter how much chapstick I put on them. My, I've gotten some rashes on my hands. My eyes have gotten super dry, but honestly it was nothing that I couldn't handle. Probably the second worst side effect that I had was depression, but that was mainly in the first couple of months. I was just having some social problems and problems with my friends and just lots of drama was going on in my life. And that just, that, I feel like that along with my Accutane was too much for me to handle. So I stayed on the same dosage for about two months because I didn't think I could go any higher at that moment. But then of course, like the month after, things got better. And I'm now on 80 milligrams. I've been on, a I've been on 80 milligrams for a month now, and this is gonna be my second month. This is my sixth month on Accutane, actually. So this might be the last month, and... I'm sorry, I'm totally all over the place in this. But yeah, the first month of Accutane, my doctor said that I've had the best results that he has ever seen in any patient. And I don't know if that's just, you know, him being like, oh my gosh, you're doing so well, you're the best I've ever seen. And like, you know, how everyone says stuff like that. But he made it sound pretty convincing. And I think it could be because I learned some stuff on how to take care of my skin. And I've been adding small little things into my routine, very small, like don't, think, oh, I'm on Accutane, I'm just gonna add all of these skincare products into my routine because since I'm on Accutane, I'm not gonna break out. That is false. You can still break out on Accutane. You can still get hormonal breakouts. You can still get breakouts from products. Probably on my fourth month of Accutane, I tried to introduce an oil, like a nightly oil under my skin, and I woke up with two pimples. Don't think that your skin is invincible while on Accutane because it is not. However, I do have some amazing things that I really think did play a role in making my skin clear up so much faster. Okay, this is a facial steamer from the brand Len P. I got it off of Amazon for Christmas actually. I really wanted one. And I use it maybe every other week. I use it whenever I'm doing like a little pamper routine. It is amazing. It feels so nice. Really, it's just bringing moisture into my face and it helps, I wouldn't say declog pores because you know, pores don't really open up, but it just really helps to moisturize and relax your face. I feel like it helps your skin just heal in general. So I love that and I have a feeling that that is one of the main reasons why my skin has cleared so fast. Another product that I use along with pampering is this thingy. It looks like a torture device, and it can be if you use a lot of watts. This doesn't have a lot of watts though, it only goes up to 10, and I probably use about four or five. So it's an amplification system, that's what it says on the box. It's pretty much sends like electric currents. Let me actually show you, it's pretty cool. It makes a scary noise though, so. <laughs> okay, so basically you just turn it on. It gets orange once it touches something. Once it touches skin, I guess. No, nope, once it touches anything. 
This does a lot of different things. There's like so many that I can't even explain. It could, many people think that it's a scam. I feel like it's personally helped a lot, mainly with those bumps underneath the skin that you can't really like pop. You shouldn't be popping anyways, but everyone knows that everyone pops. But once you have one of those, there's a little probe. It's another one of the probes that this came with. And you just dot it, you do that. And that's supposed to create like some type of oxygen bubble. I don't really, if you, if you're like a pro in one of these things, you can explain all in the comments, but it's supposed to create like a, an antibacterial oxygen bubble where it helps just totally heal that and cell turnover. So many different things. But yeah, I use this also probably about once every other week and I think it's another reason why my skin has healed so quickly. Now I'm going to go into the products that you need to have on Accutane. Like these are just, you should have these if you're going to start Accutane. Mainly it's, these are all for like dry skin. Firstly, as everyone knows, Aquaphor. This is pretty much, I think it's just Petrolatum Jelly, right? Yeah, it's just Petrolatum. It is a miracle in a bottle. Okay, you can put this Anywhere, anywhere you want to on your, well, not, not, I wouldn't recommend putting it anywhere that you, it's like that, I don't know, let's see, focus, there we go. When I go to bed at night, I put it on my lips, I put it on my nose, I put it on my chin, I put it on my legs, cause those get really dry, I put it on my hands, pretty much I put this anywhere that I'm super dry. You need this for ac Accutane, you need some form of petrolatum jelly. Next, the main moisturizer that I use, that's just like a protectant cover, but this is the moisturizer that I use. It is Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Yogurt Skin Renewal Recipe Body Yogurt Moisturizer with Vitamin C. <laughs> Long names. This is a very thick lotion. I actually just put it on like an hour ago because I showered. It takes a while to spread in, but yeah, it smells amazing. It's super moisturizing, super thick, and oh, what was it? Something about like Manuka honey helps restore nutrient rich hydration to skin, yogurt renews skin for an enhanced glow, and vitamin C is known to help boost radiance and invigorate skin. I just use this pretty much after every single shower, and it really helps moisturize my body. Next thing you'll need is just any form of lotion. I have so many different types of lotion. This one is from Bath and Body Works. I just like, if I, I could fill up this entire screen with how many different lotion bottles I have. You want to have quite a few of these just laying around the house. Cause if you're just like watching the TV or something, you're gonna be like, Ooh, this is dry. You're gonna want lotion with you so that you can just squirt that on. Another thing that you always want to have with you is lip balms or chapsticks or whatever. What I mainly use, I use this every single night. It's Lip Medics, Blistex, I don't even know. But I use this every single night. It's pretty much Petrolatum Jelly with that like, that minty stuff, mentholatum. And so it's super cold on your lips and it feels amazing. And then this is what I use during the day. It's just Burt's Bees Basic, Burt's Bees Basic Beeswax Lip Balm. That was a lot of bees. But yeah, I, I like to use these because they take forever to finish. Like I still have so much left of that. I still have so much left of my Blistex and I've been using that for over like seven months now, every single night. And I still have like probably a fourth of it left. I like using the little tin thingies cause they're super good for the environment. Then I would invest in a very heavy hand cream. I use Burt's Bees hand repair cream. Come on. There we go. So this is Burt's Bees Shea Butter Hand Repair Cream. It smells, it smells pretty, pretty special. So I put it on at night so no one else can smell me. It's very natural. It smells like a very natural earthy scent. It's actually 99% natural. And some of the ingredients are like, the second ingredient is sunflower seed oil, there's sesame seed oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, honeysuckle flower extract, rosemary leaf extract, soybean oil. Like there's such good stuff in here. And so I put this on maybe like once a week when my hands are all rashy, cause that happens about once a week. It just, it just happens. And so I put this on and by the time that I wake up, it's gone. I also use it on my elbows because those also get really dry and like, you know, like dusty sometimes. Oh, sorry. But yeah, that happens. CeraVe. 
This is probably one of the most well-known things that people in Accutane use. It is a moisturizer. You can use it on your body. You can use it on your face. I use it on my face because I just have so many other body lotions. This is amazing. It has cerave ceramides and oh, I have a ton of it left. I use it every night and I've been using it for about five months four months it just moisturizes your skin your face it smooths you right in there it doesn't break you out it doesn't have any ingredients that would break you out even though most of the ingredients i can't really like pronounce but it's um developed with dermatologists so lastly this one's a little extra but my eyes got really dry during this whole accutane thing in the beginning i don't really use it anymore i don't know why they just got dry in the beginning this is just a yeah, this is just an eye drop. What's it called? Uh, yeah, eye drops. And they're lubricant eye drops. <laughs> I just found that funny. And pretty much you can just, like any other eye drop, I don't know why I'm explaining it to you, but they moisturize your eyes because on like the corners of my eyes right here, they got super chapped. And so I would put, you know, like Aquaphor all over them. But like when I went to school, I was like, this is a little awkward feeling, my eyes are all shiny. So I just put these in every morning and night and it pretty much got rid of that problem. So yeah, I would, if your eyes start to get dry, look for a lubricant eye drop thingy. All right, now I'm just gonna go over my skincare routine that I use and I just realized that they're in the bathroom. Just a second. Okay, the face wash that I use is Shea Moisture. Oh, please. Oh, look at that, I did it fast. Um, Shea Moisture African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Foaming Facial Wash with, with Tamarind Extract. And it's for blemish prone skin. I love this because it's, I feel a very gentle cleanser. It's foam, you just shake it up, squirt, I squirt about three pumps in, and it has no sulfate, so it's not gonna like take away any of your important face oils. It's not gonna, you know, break the barrier, barrier or anything. And I've just been using it. It used to be all the way up here. I'm almost out. Like I have that much left. I love it. Yeah, I think it's very important. You just have to find a gentle cleanser and stick with it. Don't go from like, oh, today I'll use this one and tomorrow I'll use that one. That's what I used to do. Don't do that. Stick with one and stay with it. In the morning, I use either this the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Face Lotion with Coconut Milk and Acacia Senegal. Senegal. Um, I was scared to use this because it does contain coconut oil, but it's kind of in the middle of the list and it didn't break me out. It's just very moisturizing. I have a bad history with oils, but this guy has done me justice. I've been using him every morning for about three, four, four months. Um, I'm slowly trying to introduce this, as you saw in my quarantine morning routine. It is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid, which that sounds scary because it has acid, but hyaluronic acid is actually very moisturizing for your skin. I bought this about a year ago and I stopped using it after I went on to Accutane, but I thought, hmm, I'm just gonna start using it again and it's, really nice it's very moisturizing it does not come with a lot but it's like dirt cheap so you can just buy a couple of these and it's great after i moisturize i put on my eye serum eye stuff which is also in my quarantine morning routine this is also from the ordinary it's the caffeine solution five percent plus egcg i don't know what that is i've been using this for a little less, for like a month now. And I didn't use it in the beginning. I was really scared to introduce it to my routine because like I said, once I went on to Accutane, it was very simple. It was cleanser, moisturizer, done. Like toners and stuff, that isn't really needed in a routine, I'm sorry. I mean, after a while, maybe you can try and introduce it back, but they're not really gonna do that much for your skin. The main thing, cleansers, moisturizers but yeah I have very dark circles you might not be able to see on camera you might actually be able to um I wanted to try and use this to see if it would get rid of them so far I've seen 
I've seen a little, a little improvement. Um, not super drastic, but I'm just gonna keep on using it. I've used about a, a fourth of it. So I still have like three fourths left. And by the end of the bottle, I will probably make another YouTube video and we'll compare results and see what it looks like. Lastly, 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 if I have a breakout, like, I probably get, last breakout I had was about two weeks ago, so I don't really get them anymore. <laughs> it's so nice to say that. But whenever I do have one, I use a spot treatment. So this was actually the one prescribed to me from my dermatologist, my dermatologist. And it's clindamycin, clindamycin, clindamycin phosphate and benzoyl peroxide gel, 1.2% clindamycin and 5% benzoyl peroxide. That one's prescribed, but I do have, I just have this, it's from the brand, okay, it's from the brand Acne Free, it's the Terminator 10, this has 10% benzoyl peroxide, so it will bleach clothes, it's very, very drying, so I would just Put a little dab on that. I wouldn't use it all around your cheeks because that'll just completely dry them out. But like I said, I don't really get breakouts anymore, so I don't usually do that last step. Yeah, that is about it for my skincare routine, and that is about it for the rest of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see my results right now, let me actually. <sighs> this feels a little awkward. So this is my left, yeah, my left cheek. And you can still see some scarring. My dermatologist calls them shadows. But he said that these do go away. Um, they have been getting better. So you just see a little bit of red dots. My skin is completely smooth. There is no bumps. <laughs> I love it. On my nose, sorry, I'm looking into the little camera thing. I still have blackheads. You probably want to <gasps> won't even be able to really see them on the camera but just know that pretty much everyone has blackheads on their nose and if you don't you are extremely lucky here is my right side of my sorry that's like leftover aquaphor um my right side of my cheek once again scarring a little bit of shadows those will go away but it is completely smooth like my entire face, honestly. It's just smooth all over. Oh yeah, if you wanna see my forehead, I never really had much problems with my forehead, but it's pretty clear. So, oh yeah, my chin. Yeah, that is my face and it's been six months. I have a month left of Accutane, hopefully, unless I need another month, which I don't think I should. But yeah, those are my results. I really hope that you like them. I'm gonna go sit back down. I really hope that you like them. Please, please, please thumbs up this video. It lets me know if you like my videos or not. You already know. Subscribe, click that button, make the red turn to gray, make it say subscribe and then subscribe. Press the bell so that you can see when I upload my video next on next Wednesday. Until then, have a safe quarantine and I love you guys. Bye.